Experiencing the disappearance of their child is every parent's worst nightmare. When one parent entered their 15-year-old son's room in the morning, their hearts sank as they discovered he was nowhere to be found. The neatly made bed and the absence of any signs of his presence overnight were distressing. The boy had seemingly vanished without a trace, leaving everyone puzzled. Then one day, the police decided to employ a new approach, and what unfolded next took them by surprise. High school life often exerts immense pressure on teenagers, making it challenging to juggle academic responsibilities, extracurricular activities, and maintaining friendships. For 15-year-old Aubrey Carroll, this pressure was nearly overwhelming. Aubrey's parents had recently gone through a divorce, leading him to relocate to Spalding County, a town about an hour away from his childhood home. He found himself starting anew at a different high school, faced with the task of making new friends. Surprisingly, he appeared to be adapting well to his new environment. Throughout this period, Aubrey's parents were embroiled in a custody battle over him. Ultimately, it was decided that Aubrey would return to live with his father, Michael, in Jones County. However, to provide some stability in his life, everyone agreed that Aubrey should finish the school year in Spalding. To ensure Aubrey got to school on time each day, Michael had to drive him for an hour to the bus stop. The extensive driving forced Michael to restrict Aubrey's social activities, which proved to be a significant inconvenience for the teenager, who cherished socializing and staying connected with his friends. All these changes began to take a toll on Aubrey. Under the additional pressure, he started to act out and became involved in what Michael referred to as a minor incident. The police even got involved in the situation, though it seemed like a precursor to what would occur next. On the morning of May 24, 2016, Michael dropped Aubrey off at the bus stop as usual, unaware that this would be the last time he would see his son. When Aubrey's stepmother arrived at the bus stop to pick him up, he was nowhere to be found. Aubrey had attended school that day and even submitted assignments on time. Everyone at school had seen him, but none of his friends knew where he had disappeared to. It was as if Aubrey had evaporated into thin air. Immediately, Michael reported his son missing to the local police. He had initially refrained from worrying Aubrey's mother, Danielle, and Spalding about the situation, believing his son had simply run away and would return home soon. However, as days turned into weeks with no word from Aubrey, Michael's concern grew overwhelming. He eventually had to break the news to Aubrey's mother, Danielle, leaving both parents heartbroken by their son's inexplicable disappearance. Months passed without a single clue as to Aubrey's whereabouts. His birthday had come and gone, prompting his parents to offer a reward for any information about their missing son. The police began circulating posters featuring Aubrey's photo and a $5,000 thousand reward. Both Aubrey's parents and law enforcement agencies tirelessly dedicated themselves to finding the teenager. Despite their relentless efforts, Aubrey remained elusive. Then, after two long years had passed, a significant breakthrough emerged in the case. A Facebook profile emerged displaying photos of a young man who bore an uncanny resemblance to Aubrey. Although the profile bore a different name, the police deemed it necessary to investigate further. The police shared the Facebook profile with Aubrey's parents, and upon seeing the photos, they had no doubt in their hearts. It was their son. Astonishingly, Aubrey had been alive all this time, leading an adventurous lifestyle. Aubrey had become closely associated with a group of hippie travelers and had spent the last two years traversing the West Coast and the Midwest with them. To make a living, he took on odd jobs and engaged in bartering, relying exclusively on cash to avoid leaving a paper trail. Aubrey's parents were overjoyed to learn that their son was safe and sound. Nonetheless, they decided not to reach out to him immediately fearing that they might scare him away and lose their only connection with him. However, the love of parents for their child can only be restrained for so long. Eventually, they succumbed to their emotions and attempted to establish contact with their son. To their surprise, Aubrey responded immediately, and a phone call was arranged between him and his mother. Before long, Aubrey was on his way to Georgia to reunite with his family. Aubrey had finally reunited with his family and had an endless array of tales from his adventures on the road. Remarkably, the local police revealed that some of his experiences would leave you in awe. The concerns of his parents, that he'd have been abducted or harmed, were far from the reality of what had transpired. He told us that he left on his own and had not been abducted, 
hurt, abused, exploited, or harmed in any way, the police disclosed. The exact reasons behind Aubrey's departure remained a mystery to this day. Nonetheless, his parents were simply grateful to have their son back, relieved that nothing terrible had befallen him. Aubrey's parents also expressed gratitude for the role of social media in reuniting them with their son. Once again, social media had proven to be a valuable tool, facilitating the reunion of a family that had endured a lengthy separation.